Martin Lappin here with Alternative Heating Solutions. And I just seen the inedible, can I make my own underground pipe on one of the Facebook groups? Certainly you can. It's not worth the time. Here we have a leftover piece of Thermopex. Parked the loader tractor right on. Uh, what the rear end weighs, I don't know offhand. We do have two cast iron spacers bolted to the outside of the rim for wheel weights. Then the inside has a six inch cast iron spacer. And this tire is also filled with calcium chloride. So let's just say it's very, very heavy. I'll move this and we'll look at the end of it here in a second. I've moved the tractor. You can see it did deform it. The important part you need to be looking at here is it did not break the outer casing. So even though it did deform, and you might lose a little more heat right there because the insulation did crack clear out to the casing, you're not going to get water in it. Let's see, I'm going to try this one more time. We're going to park it right in the middle and see what happens. Here you can see I'm being mean to it again. Park it right in the middle of the stretch. And I'm betting being in the middle, you're not going to see near the deformation as you did on the very end. I'll go ahead and finish backing over it and see. So I went ahead and backed off of it the rest of the way. And there is a slight dent here. Just ever so slight dent there. You notice it's in the gravel. You're not going to be able to make a pipe that will stand that. I mean, if you want to, go ahead. If you want to do it right the first time, go with the foam underground pipe. Whether it be log store, thermal packs, rehaul, and now Heat Master has her own brand too. Like the fabulous Thunderbird song goes, this stuff is tough enough. This is Martin Lappin of Alternative Heating Solutions. The women don't find you handsome, at least they can find you handy.